In this video, we're going to subtract with mixed numbers. Subtraction with mixed numbers works very similar to subtraction with whole numbers, in that we line up place values, or the fractions, and then again, we will work from right to left. With mixed numbers, this means on the right, we will have the fraction first, and on the left, we will do the whole number part second. Let's take a look at some problems where we subtract, working right to left. In this problem, as we line up, we're taking 9 and 4 fifths, and subtracting 3 and 1 half from it. Again, we will start on the right side, which means we're going to do these fractions first. In order to subtract the fractions, we need to find a common denominator. The common denominator of 5 and 2 is 10. So the denominator of 5 needs to be multiplied by 2 over 2, which gives us 8 tenths. The denominator of 2 needs to be multiplied by 5 over 5 to give us 5 tenths, and we're ready to subtract. 8 tenths minus 5 tenths leaves us with 3 tenths behind. And 9 minus 3 is 6. This fraction does not reduce, so our final difference is 6 and 3 tenths. Let's try this again with another example, subtracting, working from right to left. In this problem, we have 7 and 7 eighths, and we are subtracting 2 and 3 fourths. Again, we start with the fractions on the right, needing a common denominator. The common denominator between 8 and 4 is 8, so the 7 eighths doesn't need any adjustment. The 4, the 3 fourths does, multiplying the denominator of 4 by 2 over 2 will give us 6 eighths to subtract from the 7 eighths. 7 minus 6 leaves 1 eighth, and 7 minus 2 on the whole numbers gives us 5, and we have our final solution of 5 and 1 eighth. To subtract with mixed numbers, we simply line everything up, do the fractions first, and the whole numbers second.